you take a look around at today's world, you will find that there are a number of mysterious places and things all around us that just remain mysterious. Fortunately, there are a few smart people out there who can at least give us an honest review of some of these things. However, no matter how smart you are, there are things that are out of reach, physical reach, that we are left to speculate, ponder, hypothesize, or theorize their existence. Today, we will explore something that is out of reach, mysterious, and perhaps ancient. Something that if studied by the right people, could tell us a lot about our planet and others. And that is the Black Knight satellite. Now we all have a pretty good understanding of what a satellite is. In order for us to get closer to solving this mystery, we need to have a few questions answered. Mainly, is this thing real? Number one. And, if it is real, did it come from Earth or space? Oh, the time has come to discuss this. Let's take a closer look at another great mystery of our planet. Let's see what others are saying about this object. And I have a feeling we're about to get into something that is way over our heads. Okay, so let's go slow. Most of the time, when we think of something orbiting our planet, we typically imagine the object in some random part of the sky, in some slow-moving hover. But of course, there are several types of orbits, and each one serves a different purpose. There are quite a few types of orbits, so I will try to break this down as best I can. When discussing this topic, it is important to know this. The main classifications of orbits are based on things like altitude, direction, inclination, synchronicity, eccentricity. You have centric classifications and even pseudo-orbit and special classifications. In this case, we will be looking at a geocentric orbit. In other words, an orbit around planet Earth either that of the moon or artificial satellites. This includes the Black Knight satellite. Now understand, the only way you can have an object suspended in an orbit around our planet is we have to put it there. The moon, the, the moon is an anomaly itself and its orbit. Anything else, it has to be placed there. Rocks just don't come from outer space and get stuck in orbit around us. Unless, of course, you have something like the moon that has just always been there as far as we know. And therefore would be another anomaly. Which in the Black Knight satellite's case, nah. For its proximity, it would have to be artificial for it to stay in orbit. For as long as some say it has been in orbit, which is 13,000 to 15,000 years. This object must be fueled. Here's the thing. When you put a satellite into orbit around the Earth, there are two factors that make this work. One is the gravitational pull of the Earth on the object, and two, the speed at which the object is deployed at. The right speed could keep a satellite in orbit for hundreds of years. I don't know about thousands, Plus, this thing has to make some sort of adjustments, like other satellites, to avoid collisions with each other. The reality is, all satellites, including the ISS, are actually falling to the Earth, sideways. And because the Earth is curved, they never actually crash into us. But, 
anything affecting the speed of one of these satellites could very likely cause it to fall out of place. Now if we go back to when this started and where, some people believe that this started in Colorado Springs in 1899 with guess who? Nikola Tesla. You see, at this time he had been experimenting with some transmission equipment and apparently encountered a signal from an unknown source. One that at the time he could not decrypt or locate its source. As time went on, there were a few others who had encountered the signal, but because the technology was still not quite there, it took military efforts to locate the source of the signal. Now, what happened was, in 1957, the Soviets would launch Sputnik 1, the first official Earth satellite. And it was then that they discovered this object orbiting the moon in a polar orbit, meaning the object was circling the moon from the north to the south pole. Keep in mind, prior to this, there was already speculation about several other unknown objects in orbit around the planet, at least two, the Black Knight and one other. One at 400 miles out and the other at 600 miles out. However, that still doesn't mean that one of the objects they detected is the Black Knight satellite. And back then, they were said to have a retrograde orbit. And what that means is these things were moving in the opposite direction of all other satellites because all other satellites are locked into this prograde tide. So they move in the direction that the Earth is spinning. Anything in a retrograde orbit should be very small and very distant for that to work. But the Black Knight satellite does not meet that criteria. So, therefore, we are dealing with something that may be defying physics as we know it. That right there, however, does not make it easier for us to determine what this thing is. So, just to make matters a bit more confusing, they later on detected an unknown object in the Earth's polar orbit. See, they know where all their satellites are, so when they see something that is not on the list, they are going to track it to find out what it is, or else. The military is never, never going to spot an unidentified object and just put it to the side without first determining what it is. They don't let stuff just slide. The Navy tracks all objects in the sky, and there are security issues here. They need to know if this is something they need to blast out of the sky. You know they just can't wait to blast something out of the sky. The Black Knight would be a perfect candidate. Some ancient alien spy satellite? Yeah, they'd bring that thing down quick. Unless it held something of value. Or maybe it is one of those things that they know about but figure, as of now, it is better just to leave it alone. By the way, also at this time, they did mistake this object for a stray rocket that they speculated was produced during the Russian's Black Knight project. And the Black Knight label has stuck ever since. So here is the problem. Ever since the Navy, the military, astronomers, amateur astronomers, when they detect something like this, especially in a retrograde orbit, they can match that object with any transmission signals. So if at any time they spot an object up there, they are perfectly capable of matching it up with any signals. Also, because these objects are not on the list of known satellites, scientists have to go with the notion that this is a natural object like a space rock. They are not going to entertain the idea that it is an artificial object that could only come from space because they know about all the satellites that Earth has put up there. Make sense? Okay, so at this point, they don't really want to discuss it any further, for it would lead down a road that they don't want to go down. So that is why these things tend to remain a mystery to us, especially something that they know changes orbit, disappears and reappears. And see, the thing is, the reality is, there is apparently more than just one. The Black Knight satellite that's just a name. 
Lord knows what that image is that is all over the internet. Who said that was the Black Knight satellite? Are we talking about one object or many? How is anyone supposed to identify any object up there as the Black Knight satellite? What does it have Black Knight written on the side? I've looked at these photos long and hard and it just looks like junk. I know some of you want it to be a ship and it could very well resemble some type of alien craft at a certain angle. But folks, we can't go on this. This ain't enough. We don't even know that if what this is in these photos is still up there. And even if it is, doesn't mean that it's the same object everyone is talking about. At a certain angle, it does look like a black armored spacecraft. So yeah, Black Knight would be a cool name for this object in particular, but then we wouldn't be talking about the same thing, would we? And let me tell you, no one out there is looking for the Black Knight. If you know anything about astronomy, using a telescope, things of that nature, then you know you have to be dedicated to look for something like that. Unless you already have a very good idea of where to look, and you can't get a good idea because this thing is said to keep changing orbit. And if you don't have dimensions and speed, flight path, it's going to be very hard to determine if this is the same object when spotted again. And there are probably dozens. That's the reality. Sometimes we hear these stories and we get fixated on finding out what one thing is when it's just a blanket term used to describe a UFO. Really, that is what the Black Knight satellite is at this point. A legend. A legend that could be any of the number of unidentified satellite type objects up there. And I'm telling you, they're going to classify any information obtained on the military end. You all can forget about finding out from them. It's going to take an amateur astronomer and mathematician to help us get closer to solving this riddle. And it is a riddle because we don't know exactly what object up there is indeed the object in question. By the way, can anyone in the world tell me why it is thought that the Black Knight satellite is over 13,000 years old? How does anyone know this? How could anyone make that determination? I'll get to that in a moment, but this is what I'm talking about. We all have to ask questions because we need to stop and find out if there is some legitimacy to what is being passed along or if it's just another number somebody pulled out of their ass. One of the reasons, folks, it's taken me some time to get into this topic is because we've really got nothing. We have some deciphered signals, but we don't know where they originated. The Navy and a few others may know, but that still doesn't mean we are talking about the Black Knight, just some unidentified object. And these signals are the only things that we can get anything out of, or at least interesting to note. For example, there was a man, Duncan Lunan, in 1973, supposedly decoded one of the signals, a message. And apparently this may have been where this idea of a 12,000, 13,000, 15,000 year old satellite came from. Duncan determined the signal to come from an alien source orbiting the moon. The decoded message described the alien's home star system, Epsilon Butis, a double star system, and they lived on the seventh planet from their sun. The sixth planet has one moon, their fourth planet has three, and their first and third planets have one moon each. Their satellite orbits our moon, they said, the purpose of which is to intercept transmissions from Earth to outer space. You know, I can get behind the idea that there may be objects up there that we didn't put up there that are not natural. And if what we are talking about is a satellite, then its purpose is most likely for monitoring and communications, probably because that is all it's equipped to do, besides evade us. At the end of the day, it's another one of those things that seems to try and lure us in and then disappear on us almost as a taunt. 
intelligent, but it is also the M.O. of evil. And if there is something up there that old, it's got to have fallen angels written all over it. This is not an established object, not even in legend, as there is no description of the shape. They're not sure about the path. We don't really know what we are supposed to be looking for, even if we wanted to. There are those who say this can't exist, but people keep detecting it. The Black Knight satellite is an image. It is a symbol for what may exist in our skies. It is a ghost of a legend, but probably not a myth.